the purpose of the golf day is to try and raise much needed funds to develop the schools program that we do across the county um, and in the city of Bristol. Uh, we try and get as many cricket clubs, as many cricket partners involved in the day and uh, yeah we've had a number of years of success and today's been exactly the same. We've got 29 teams here today. The money specifically goes to uh, develop our schools programme, so it brings more money uh, to enable us to do more schools. And roughly we think about £350 enables us to do a schools term, um, six weeks coaching and a bit of uh, CPD for the teachers. I think we started it probably about three, four years ago and we started with probably 16, 18 uh, teams, which was fantastic. Raised £1,000, raised £1,500. Uh, we had a hugely successful year in 2014, uh, sorry, 2015, where we raised just over £4,000. And today looks like being uh, similar figures with a uh, similar number of teams. It's always nice to give back. Uh, some good people here today have, have come along to show their support. And, uh, and the game's pretty um, precious to, to most cricketers who have played it and uh, we like to try and give back where we can but um, you know, today is about raising money for the youth and, and schools and, and hopefully this will go a long way into providing some, some kit or um, some opportunities with coaches or whatever just to help them um, progress in whatever, you know, whatever field they want to do in cricket. How was your golf today? Uh, average. Uh, to begin with I thought it was going to be a long day and then it got a little bit better so I finished with a smile but started with a sad face. What is the impact you think of maybe people that don't get the chance to play at schools in terms of whether they go on to play or follow the game? Uh, David, I'll go to you first. Um, yeah, I think it's great to see that more schools are getting involved because, as you say, I think we were probably very lucky to be able to get to where we did without, without playing at school because not everyone's got the privilege to be able to play outside of school and go and play for a club and things like that. So the fact that schools are now getting more involved and there's more opportunities for kids is, is massively beneficial for them. And Jack, some of this money is going to go towards helping to train teachers up and I guess that's a really important part of it, isn't it? Because if teachers not played or into the game themselves, they're unlikely to coach the youngsters. Well, it is because cricket's, you know, it's, it's quite different from football and, and things where there's so many different rules, so it's quite hard to understand. So, you know, putting that money and, and, and things into something like that it can be so beneficial. I mean, you know, it's just changing now. We, we're seeing so many young guys in and around the ground. We pop into sessions, you know, even girls cricket's coming, you know, up and coming ridiculously fast so it, it can only be a good thing and getting the word out there and I think more and more people are, are starting to play cricket which is great. Obviously we really appreciate having you guys support the day by coming here and uh, getting the clubs out and um, onto the, the golf itself then. Uh, David how did you get on? Yeah I actually played all right today it's gonna feel like I was a bit of a bandit I actually managed to scrape 38 points and off the back of scoring less than 20 I think in my last three rounds it's, it feels pretty good. <laughs> And Jack, we know there's always a little bit of competition, particularly between you and Gareth Roderick, who's not here to defend himself or to, to stake his own claim. But um, how did you get on? Do you think you beat him this year? I don't actually think I did. I think I ended up losing about seven balls. Um, <laughs> so it was up and down, to say the least. I did, I did nail a few. I had the uh, longest drive for a period, which is sort of my favourite thing on a golf course. I'm not too worried about how many <laughs> points I scored. But uh, I think someone snatched it off me right at the end. But it's been a great day. You know, we came here last year to Simon Sester. They put on a good day, a nice feed, it's, it's a cracking course, so we've had a fantastic day. Our partners and sponsors, you know, we say it every year, they're, they're great people. They get involved with us, they believe in what we do, um, and they've come out in number here today.